Hi folks, this is Krista Soria. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about effect sizes. As we think about examining some of the differences in our groups, for instance, going back to t-tests, in our t-test example we examined whether Greek students versus non-Greek students had a significantly higher or lower sense of belonging on campus. We examined it and we did find that, yes indeed, Greek students have a significantly higher sense of belonging on campus. If we go back and look at their mean value differences, we have here um, a, a pretty sizable mean difference of uh, 0 0.31 between the, the two mean values. But the scale is from 1 to 6. So how large is that 0.31? How meaningful or important is that 0.31? Well, luckily in statistics, we have effect sizes that can help us to examine whether or not we can move um, from not only statistically significant, but also answering is it practically significant or potentially meaningful. An effect size is a standardized measure, and it measures the size of an effect, so the size of a difference or the size um, of a relationship. Um, it's not necessarily as reliant upon sample size, and it's standardized, which means that it, no, no matter the scale, no matter the type of variable, it's comparable across multiple studies. And it allows individuals to more objectively evaluate the size of an effect. Um, and there are a couple of different effect size measures that we can be used, um, that we can use, but for t-tests we'll use uh, Cohen's d-value. So again, going back to our t-test example, this is our mean and our standard deviation for our sample. So how do we begin to get um, an effect size calculation? Well, online there are a number of effect size calculators for Cohen's d that are available. So if I were to type in something like t-test effect size calculator, um, uh, quite a few will show up. Uh, this one here at uccs.edu forward slash Becker, I, I tend to like it, use it pretty often, pretty straightforward. What we do here is we type in the means and the standard deviations for both of the groups. So for one group, which was, let's do, um, the non-Greeks. Their mean was 4.55 and their standard deviation was 1.013. So 4.55, 1.013. And then for the Greek students, their mean was 4.86 and their standard deviation was 0.738. So I'm going to type in 4.86 and 0.738. And I'm going to click Compute. And here we get both a Cohen's D and an R value. So you can really use either one, but Cohen's D is really helpful when we're looking at the comparisons between the two groups. So this is a really useful calculator that you can use that's available for free online to calculate your effect sizes. And um, if you Google Cohen's D, you can learn a little bit more about what this scale in particular refers to. So um, uh, negative 0.34 is that m small, moderate. Um, later when we talk about correlations, you'll learn that this effect size here of 0.17 is relatively small. That indicates somewhat of a small relationship. But let's examine what we can find for Cohen's D. So if we type in, Cohen's D effect size. If I recall, there's a really great Wikipedia page that's really easy to locate. And if you scroll down on the page, you'll see the standard measurement to help us see. So there's the effect size for R to help us see what's a small, medium, or large effect size. But if we keep scrolling down, here's the effect sizes for D along with some cited research. So our effect size was 0.3. Four, I think. Uh, let's go back. Uh, 0.349, so almost 0.35, so sort of between the small and the medium. So I would report that as a medium, uh, maybe a small to medium effect size uh, for the difference in the mean values and sense of belonging for Greek and non-Greek students. So this is a great tool to use to do some follow-up testing to examine uh, the effect size or the size of the difference as it's standardized in your variables. 
As always, please let me know if you have any questions, and I'm happy to help you understand more about effect sizes. Thanks so much.